So Mike, it looks like the next stop is Memphis Barbecue Company. Yeah, you know, that name sounds familiar. I think I know who runs this joint, but I bet she's not here. I think she's out in Kansas City right now. <laughs> One of the women's, winningest women in barbecue. They call her the queen. Yep. That's Melissa Cookston. Melissa and Pete, they do a heck of a job, don't they? Yeah, they do. Why don't we say we go in and check it out? Yeah, let's go. So Mike, we're at the uh, Memphis Barbecue Company. Nice place. What do you got there? Well, we got some of Pete and Melissa's pork rinds that they do. Uh, this has just a little bit of spice on it. It's really good. It's light. You know, a lot of people are going to this because it's a no-carb substitute for chips and bread and stuff. I really like it. They're frying these right here in the house. A little bit of salsa on or seasoning on them. Works really good. She just brought our sausage cheese platter. We're gonna take a look at that. Um, that, look, that looks like some homemade uh, smoked sausage right there. You know, I asked the girl if that was a homemade sausage that it's made to their recipe. So it should be good. All right. It smells good. Yeah, let's give this stuff a try. All right, sounds good. Good stuff. I'm gonna pick one of these sausages out. Down on the black top, that looks good. Down on the flat top. Oh, it is on the flat top. That's a nice sausage. Sits into their recipe, so. What do you think? It's a nice meaty sausage. It's not filled with fat. Flavor is really good. I thought so too. You get that little caramelization from the flat top. So many sausages you get in the morning. It's all about the filler, it's all about the fat. You know, this sausage is not greasy at all. You can look at that. And then they hit it on the flat top, like you said. It's a good choice. Very cool. Hey, Kevin, we got our plate down here. What are we going to do now? I think we're going to start with brisket. We haven't tried that yet. And, uh, it's a pretty nice looking brisket. I'm a fan of it. If it's good, that's a, a really good sign of a barbecue place, in my opinion. So we, we've been to a couple of barbecue joints today, and nobody has recommended the brisket. But we come to Memphis Barbecue Company, and we know Pete and Melissa own this place, and their help first suggested the rib, and the brisket was the second. Brisket was number two after the ribs. Yeah. So uh, then we got some two different sides. We got a red beans and rice and a homemade macaroni and cheese. Uh, I love a good red beans and rice, so I'm looking forward to that as well. And, and this cornbread, I love cornbread. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, it, it's a downfall for me. I could sit and eat a pan. Oh, this, this looks like some nice cornbread as well. So I have a feeling we're in for a treat. Yeah. Go ahead and slide that brisket out there. Let's get a look at it real quick. We got a nice looking brisket, pretty cut. Let's see, let's do a little pull test on that. Okay, Snaps right across. Part, so this, this, let's, let's try this with just as it is. Okay, let's rate it. One to nine. Melissa's watching. That's a solid eight. Good deal. Solid eight. Restaurant. Solid day, you can't get no better. Than no, that. from a, a restaurant standpoint, there's nothing better. This, I mean, it just falls apart. It's, it just, just falls apart. <laughs> I can't even hold it. That, that's good. I'm gonna try a little bit with some sauce on it and see how that is. That's good as well. So definitely a thumbs up on on the brisket. So we got a little bit more here to go. So let's right, dig in. All right. So Mike, looks like you got another baby back there. Yep, I got another baby back. Hold it apart. Not pretty, but it doesn't have to be pretty to eat good. Doesn't does have it? to be pretty to eat good. You know, and that's what, uh, what we're looking at here. Um, maybe a little too much fat on it, but you know, in a barbecue world, fat is flavor, so I'm okay with that. We got the muddy style that they recommended. I got to tell you, I've already licked my fingers, and I really do like the style. Uh, <laughs> I'm now, now when I say not pretty, I'm not. I'm just saying you've got that torn apart into pieces there. I mean, you can see it's not. 
it's not a full, full cut on, you know, super straight competition style cut. That's a that's an eaten rib right there. That is that is an eaten rib. So how's how's the flavor on that? The flavor is excellent. You know, and it it may appear like it's not completely done, but this just gives you a little more to go into to bite. It gives you a little more to chew. It's not tough, but it just melts in your mouth. I mean, I think I think they got it going on when it comes to the rib and how they cook it and the process and get it out to the patrons. That's a really well done rib. All that rib date needs is eating. Which is what I'm going to do. All right. Oh, Mike, I see you've already gone with through two bones. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, my two bones turned into four now. We got the muddy style. Our lady here recommended that. And we weren't really sure about, you know, what, when you get a muddy rib. I never heard of that. But she was right on point. This is really good. The, the sauce, the smoke, the rib itself. The rib is a, is a perfect tender cook. It has a great mouth appeal for when you try to chew it. Uh, it's not mushy, it doesn't fall apart. I think they got a good deal going on the rib here. Stand back. Listen the bite on that. There's nothing wrong with that. No. And, and again, everybody I get, I get a little bit of smoke, I get a little bit of sauce. It's a good combination. Good job, guys. Well, I think we're done. We put a hurting on this food. We've eaten a lot. It was really good. Mike, what do you think? All right, that's all you need to say. <laughs> Man, I look down here, this is just a pile of bones is all we got left. Melissa, Pete, you guys did an excellent job. The wait staff was perfect. They were very nice. I tell you, I think we saved the best for last. Yeah. Memphis Barbecue Company here in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Give them a try if you're in Memphis, anywhere near it, near Tunica. Make the trip up. You won't be disappointed. That's all, folks. Till next time. Well, Kevin. I think this little journey for today has come to an end. I think so. Other than a uh, needing a nap, I think a it's nap. pretty successful. I need a wheelchair. <laughs> I think it was pretty successful. Three it different was. places in Memphis, three totally different styles. Yeah. It's yeah. a that good was, experience. That really was. It was a good experience. It was good to see the different things, the different parts of town we were in, how they cook different. Right. You know. Right. And 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 it's really hard to say. I mean. Everyone had their merits. They all they, they all were, were great in their in their own right, yeah. um, and and thoroughly enjoyable. I mean, Memphis barbecue. You can't go any, any uh, you can't go wrong with Memphis barbecue. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what else we can say about Memphis barbecue company. Pete and Melissa do a great job. Sorry they weren't here, but anyway. Um, yeah. So ne next time you're over here in Memphis, check out Cozy Corner Central Barbecue and Memphis Barbecue Company. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. All I got to say. Way to go, Pete. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.